Good morning. Good morning from the ocean. That's right. Welcome to the ocean. We are supposedly nearing a uh, Half Moon Key. I did see land earlier and then I don't see it now. So oh. Maybe that was another little island. I hope so. Hopefully yeah. we didn't just miss it and be no. like, oops. <laughs> we did. But we are up and raring for some breakfast. It's just after seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna try out something new today on this yeah. ship. Guys, breakfast burgers. That is an interesting thing to eat well, for breakfast. I like the brunch burgers. Yeah. So they it's gotta be seven o'clock right? in the morning. Whatever. A burger. But I think today we're going to try out a couple of the more interesting ones. I think there are four options. Two of them are actual burgers. One is based on a turkey sausage patty, which feels breakfasty. I could do that. Breakfasty. And the other one is like some kind of a veggie. Frittata? Yeah, that thing. So maybe, I guess, egg? I don't know. Well, we'll there's eggs on the other one, too. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll check out the turkey and the veggie today. And yeah. then, of course, I'm going to get that burger burger one of these days. Uh, but yeah, let's roll up to guys, I guess, and then get this day started. Yes. Half We're so two. excited to be back, hopefully. It's been four years, over four years. Yes, it's All beautiful. Right. Let's roll. Let's All get right. some burger burgers. Turkey burger. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> up we go. Maybe we're getting there a past. To the Lido. Yeah, you were supposed to go, I believe, to Bonsai this morning at 7 mm -hmm. to get your tender tickets. Well, look at my reflection. There we go. Prime time turkey and good morning Morgan. I kind of thought this place would be swamped. So let us explore these burgers. Well, they don't have lettuce on them. That was a good pun if they had had lettuce, but this is the turkey burger. So it's a, well, turkey sausage patty with cheese, a hash brown, bacon, some donkey sauce, I also have the Good Morning Morgan, which is a vegetable frittata, hash brown patty, donkey sauce, and a tomato on there. This one may have a tomato hiding too, I don't remember, but good looking stuff for breakfast. I forgot to point out as well, the turkey sausage one comes on a French toast bun, whereas all the rest of them come on a standard toasted bun. French toast! Pretty impressive showing there. I think I like the turkey sausage one better than the veggie, but they were both good. I've only had one bite so far, the other one that's really good. It is. Now, I still think my Sea Day Brunch burger is my favorite because something about that tomato jam is just magical. But I'm gonna then the frizzled onions. I'm gonna try the regular guy's burger another morning. But it's pretty good showing, and I'm excited. I guess these are available every day. Now I only think they're on the sunrise right now, but hopefully they will pop out to some other ships in the future. I think they're testing it. See how they go. Yep. I like it. Good stuff. It's a nice other option. It's quick to grab. It. Yes. We also noticed in passing that Lucky Bowl is doing breakfast today. That's new and exciting. Oatmeal bowl, buttermilk cheddar biscuit bowl, and a cheesy bacon egg hash bowl. So we're going to check out all the things. So all of the bowls involve eggs. So it looks like you start here at the omelet station to get your eggs. And then the second gentleman will convert that into a bowl for you. Still trying to figure out how all that works. So a little bit of a strange concept, but I got the oatmeal bowl this morning, which was oatmeal. It comes with a sausage, hash brown, and I chose boiled eggs. You can do eggs however you like. Just in your oatmeal, but I assume you can disassemble that and eat it as you like. And then you can't really see under here, but it was the cheesy bacon hash something or another. With, I did two over medium eggs. Huh, huh, huh. What is under here? You got sausage, hash brown, some kind of a hash down on the bottom. Sure. Welcome to you to the beautiful port of Half Tanks. Now, as you know, we she will said be participating K. in a water shuttle debarkation. Tender. It's a tender morning. debarkation. That means that everybody wishing to get off the ship should proceed to deck five mm. by the Bombay restaurant to collect a water shuttle pass. like a glass bottom in this tender. That's kind of cool. <laughs> We're going back to Half Moon. I know, that's my Half Moon key dance.
<laughs> yeah, I need to do that too. This looks a little different since the last time we were here, but more of a forced photo stop, but I think you can just say, meh. <laughs> Try it today, stingrays. Like, oh yeah, that fountain. I know, we're like, yeah, the shell fountain. It's been four years. How many times can we say it's been four years since we've been here? Oh man, we get these first steps on that half moon key sand. <laughs> it's kind of anticlimactic, especially if you fall while doing it. Hello, half moon key. I need my sunglasses still because this squinting thing, it's for the birds. Look at all this beautiful beach. Let's see, I doubt you're gonna be the first people in the in the water today. Like we had our Grand Turk celebration of first in the ocean. I see people dipping their tootsies in down there already. Mm. Yeah, they've got that big old Grand Cabana thing down there. Hey look, a ship. Yeah, so the one thing about here is that there aren't really any umbrellas or shade options for the chairs. I know Princess has a few of those little thingamajiggies, whatever they're called. Pavilion? Yeah. All right, time to get in water mode. All right, refreshing check. I know, I have not been hearing people scream as they get in the water. Oh yeah, this could be way worse. It's not that warm. It's not warm, but it's not like frozen. Look at all this beautiful sand. That is the one draw of Half Moon, the sand. Now, is the sand good for the fish? Uh, not really. Like, you have to go way out there to even get to where you're, like, wasting. Yeah, I know. It's so shallow for so long, but, I mean, that's great. So, I'm thinking the fish action is probably going to be happening along this rock wall, probably especially out there past the cabana, because the buoy line is way out there. You just can't swim into that little harbor that the tender comes into. I feel like we need a Half Moon key song. Hey, we're back in Half Moon Key, Half Moon Key. No, no. Can I steal the Coco Key song a little bit? And... It's a nearly perfect day and <laughs> Half Moon Key. They don't have water slides, there no. was no check food. That's right. But it's just a pretty bee. That's right. And it's I'm like, fish. well, it's not a fish. Nothing. Yeah, it's like, you know, you totally deserted island. Oh yeah, no, you can see the bottom. Here. You can see the sand. We're pretty much just walking out to the fish zone at this point because it's real shallow. We're also six foot tall. That is true. I do hear a few people hooting as they get out here deeper and deeper about that it being chilly. Freeport. <laughs> Alright, there she goes, Miss Mermaid. Gonna go commune with some fish. Yeah, this is the first time that she's ever been able to snorkel. Well, not been able to, but the first time she's ever chosen to snorkel at Half Moon. Because four years ago, she was not Mermaid D, believe it or not. She did not snorkel. So all that has come about in at least the last, I'll say three years or so. Yeah, but just looking around, if you've never been to Half Moon Key, it's so funny because like, it almost looks like you can't see the bottom because you're like, ooh, that just looks like murky water. Well, that is the bottom. See nice ripply sand down there, no rocks, no real grass. I mean, I think I've seen like three rocks the whole time I've been out here. So pretty. But I know starting at about 10 a.m. they're going to be doing some activities, I think from about 10 to 1, somewhere down there near the uh, ship shipwreck bar, they have some activities. They're doing the hairy chest contest up there today. There's like tug of war, sandcastle competition. So a lot of fun stuff happening on the beach. We've never really gone to check it out before. And we may not today. Who knows? It depends on how distracting these fish are. You know what I mean? That's usually the main attraction when we come here is that fish footage. So a little bit of fish success over here from what we hear. There's, oh, I see a little, but guess what? Sergeant Major, oh boy. There's a nice dark structure right here, which Dee's getting ready to go check out now. She said she found one nice little structure, but that one looks pretty big. The fish are calling her name. Oh, actually I hear a chicken. The chicken's calling my name, but the fish are calling her name. Hello. See? <laughs> Fishies. Yep, Sergeant Me. Oh, well guess what I'm seeing? Sergeant Majors, because that's all I ever see. <laughs> oh, I can see this structure now. Yeah, there's like holes in it. They put this here, I guess. Sometimes it's to like anchor mats and jet skis and stuff too, but that looks like a perfect little place for fish to hang out. It's like a fish club. See? Yeah. Look at that. All those little holes they can hang out in there and, you know, hide from predators like D. 
Oh, she's not a predator. She does eat fish, but sh we won't tell them that. <laughs> Yeah, this is a cool little structure though, but yeah, we're, uh, I'm still able to kind of walk <laughs> flat footed. Of course I am 6'5". I can't. Yeah, and uh, we're almost, well, we're kind of getting out to the buoy line. Oh, yeah, I can totally walk. yeah, see, I have a feeling like right up here underneath these little ledges. I mean, that's where all, you might, Barry might even be here looking for you today. Oh. I know, Barry likes to follow you around. I think Matt and Roy saw an octopus. I have heard rumors. I, my goal is to find them. That's right, legends of an octopus. I've never seen an octopus in a while. No, you've, seen, while. you've seen reef squid, so yeah, that's. Yeah, that was awesome. Yep. What the heck? We're just we're just looking around. I see one of the chefs from the ship is up there. I'm thinking, hey, he's gonna catch catch some lunch. Yes, <laughs> perfect, fresh. So if you want to eat some Sergeant Majors, he will just snag them right out of this ocean and fry them up for you. happening up here this is just kind of like some little grassy mounds oh we got two chefs up there now they're checking out the chickens and the fish for lunch <laughs> yeah i didn't even notice this like gigantic uh structure over here as well another fishy disco nightclub i guess i have to be a little careful as i walk around i'm just literally walking i could stub my toe on a giant fish disco nightclub i don't know what kind of music fish listen to in a disco i mean i don't assume they listen to the band fish that's not very uh disco type music are you seeing fish in the grass? Uh-huh. Okay, well look, there's a hundred gajillion grasses right out there. But you know, the rock wall is also a big draw. Decisions, decisions. Let's go to the rock wall. definitely back in standing territory over here so I've just decided to stand up because it's easier than swimming and look at all these sergeant majors following D around because they think she's a coral reef the only other place that looks like it could be good snorkeling well you would have to get out on the beach walk all the way down past the shipwreck bar past all of the cabanas that you can rent see sand 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 maybe right about there because that looks like it turns back into rocks but um that is a hall and a half over there so, hmm, maybe this boatman will take us over there. Come back, boatman, we need your help. Nope. Boatman said no. She is saying that she is seeing a barracuda right now. And she said it so calmly and didn't even be like, a barracuda. I hope we're not um, following him because I don't really want to follow him. Yay big. Yay big. A light colored barracuda. And he, he's not a trumpet fish or a uh, whatever. No. He's oh gosh, not okay. But he's definitely had teeth. Oh gosh, well, cool. <laughs> he's over there. Anyway, he, he can stay over there for right now. They don't bother him. No. There's a lot. Oh, wow, that is a giant uh, school of sergeant majors, which again is the only kind of fish I am able to call by name, so of course they seek me out. Well, 
up, we have not had our customary Half Moon Keysian spin, so we will do that while Dee looks for all the fish footage. This is definitely a relaxing beach, you know, until the sun gets in your face. But soft sand, see so if you like the snorkeling, apparently there's an okay amount of it here, but that's going to be Princess Keys. If you like soft sand, shallow water, just being able to swim, no need for water shoes, that's Half Moon Key. There's the sun again. The sun is in both. See, it's sunrise, and we're on the sunrise, and there's sunshine, but that's the wrong ship. So, yeah. This is where I babble and spin in circles. It's good times. There's another fishy disco nightclub, and I guess they can tie stuff down too. They got this big jumping mat out here. Well, floaty mat. I don't know if I would jump on it. I'm not sure if this is part of the cabana rental. It's not like marked or roped off, so I assume anybody who wants to come climb on this thing, which is not me, can climb on it. Oh, it's also tied down up here to what I assume is another fishy disco club. Yep. Again, same one. I mean, I assume. <laughs> similar. Oh, you got it's a little really fishy. Hard spot he's like almost like clear white. Funny. Yeah, you got lots of these little things. There's tons yeah, of these little domes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were like Lady Gaga for a second. You're in the shasha, la shasha, la shasha, It's not bad, though. honestly. No. It's really good for beginning snorkeling. Well, I'm gonna stand up because it's hard. <laughs> I need more water to swim. Yeah, but for learning to snorkel, beginning snorkelers, yeah, this is this is good. Oh, bye. Couple, couple, couple. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Uh, okay. She didn't kick water all up in y'all face. Look at that. Isn't that rude? I got a little bit of condensation going on in there. Camera, you better behave. structure up here yeah it says grand cabana private occupancy by rental only so this whole structure with the water slide and well some bright yellow steps is stuff that you can rent through the ship they only have one of these but they've got a lot of other cabana options here we've never gotten into the whole cabana thing because we normally just spend most of our time in the water so but if you know you think you want to have a most of the other cabanas i think they have like little air conditioning units i think they provide you you know drinks and snacks and stuff in there i've seen some in videos but is that a fish? No, it's not. Anyway, cool option, but we always just get out here and chill. This is everything you can do for free in Half Moon Key. That's good. That's a new thing. Well, I was wondering what kind of music the fish listen to at the disco, so now I know. They listen to Hush. They li well, no. I know there's the band Fish. I made that joke earlier. See, they don't... Wow. They don't make, like, disco dancing music that I'm aware of. So she found another disco area. What are they listening to at this one? That's a, okay, that's a different kind of club. That's cool. It's got a good beat, you can dance to it. I mean, I approve. Oh, I'm out here now where I actually am just sort of tiptoeing along. So I found the zone that I like, which is where I can actually be submerged in the water. Hey look, a buoy. <laughs> Smack a buoy. Hey, it's like a little bongo. I just learned a new instrument. I can play the buoy. Maybe I could get a job playing at a fish disco. Wow. I need a symbol like this. Yeah, dramatic effect. All right, bye.
you guys to protect me if there's another bear out here and he's looking angry. I can't, I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't about that life. You know I can't see under this water. Stay still. Well, okay, I can do that. Y'all, if this video never makes it to the internet, the Barracuda got us. You see her leaving me back there? She's not giving me any further instruction. I don't even know what's going on right now. She's on the fishy hunt at the rock wall again. Gotta come over here and check out all this action and this poor little buoy that can't even fulfill its destiny as being a buoy because it's trapped in the ur. <laughs> flounder okay I like to eat those does he look juicy like he cook up nice poor buoy this buoy hasn't seen that water in like a hundred years look at how dry he is oh man here buoy let me see if I can help you out oh yeah he's so excited he's all shiny and fresh give him a little bath ah, I just saved a buoy's life y'all you're welcome So this is just this little part right here, like if you come to Half Moon and you're like, man, I wish I could have gone to Princess. Well, just come be like right here on this part. And this part is like Princess Keys, just all this rock shelf. It's kind of true, actually. Boys, girls, fish friends. I don't have anything. I mean, I love you too. I know you miss me a lot. I haven't been in the water with too many fish in this Mega Bay K 2020 yet. That's true. So they're, they're making up for it now. Hey guys. <laughs> this is this is my above water snorkel footage. Here's some announcements starting down there near the bar. Oh, yep, they've just kicked on some music, some announcements. Must be getting ready to be party time. has rescued a plastic knife from the ocean which of course now means I have to swim with a plastic knife in my pocket till we find a trash can cool oh, <laughs> you want to go down the slide well we don't have access to the cabana but I think if you climb up the slide then they would let you come back That's down the slide right well those are for the cabana the folks they're gonna kick you down like, wait, 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 I'm just looking for fish. I thought Sorry. there was fish up here I mean, I smell fish, no. And then, no, no. And then you go down the slide. You just go run up the stairs, ta -ta -ta -ta, and then shoo, 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 like that. Hey, yeah, they're they're just crazy. I don't know what's up. Yeah, true. All right, y'all. Side note: there is a lifeguard up there at the top of the slide, so maybe that's a bad idea. Don't try to sneak up on. Don't 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 do it. You found Barry again? Four barracudas? Oh, uh, wow. That's impressive. Barry's whole family is hanging out here today. I don't know if they're uh, more territorial when they outnumber us, because there's only two of us and four of them. So I think Barry called in backup. He's like, hey, these fools are getting close to me. Can y'all come help? Five. Are they reproducing on the spot or is it, uh, no? Okay. 
I don't know how Barracuda babies work. So I was following one, and I'm like, huh, that one looks like that one. Oh, those are all bears. <laughs> what did you do to offend Barry and his family? <laughs> five of them. I mean, maybe it's just a family reunion here on the island. I don't know. But they're all like that really light colored one, so I wasn't seeing maybe the same one the whole time. No, maybe it was different ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they just, the ones all, because I looked out underneath the buoy, because one always seems to hang out like outside the perimeter. That's the guard. He guards I guess so. That's right. And then the other ones I looked down, I'm like, there's one. Those are all the same. There's four of them. So there's five all there's together? Five. Okay. You'll see them when you edit the footage. That's all right. crazy. People should be kind of careful. I mean, they, they seem harmless. I'm like behind them. I wasn't in front of them where they could like see you. Because they're territorial. So they can't see with their tails. That's what we've learned. <laughs> cool. Let's see if they're still there. Uh -huh. That's insane. I've never seen that many. They're only like yay. Big. Well, yay still. Big. Yeah, but still they have yay. I know, that's the only thing you're lacking. Well, the, the potential octopus that has been reported on various days, and then some stingrays. He's got to be here somewhere. Right? Yeah. Because they don't move around too much. He's blending in. <laughs> they do that. Just checking to see if the barracudas are still around. But if they come for a fight, I got a knife. So, you know, don't, don't come near me, barracudas. I can defend myself. Hey. 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 Don't toy with me, Bowie. Hey. Hey. All right, I couldn't really hurt you, Bowie. You're too friendly. Look at all these people chilling on the <laughs> beach. So many people. The sand is nice. So many tender waves and everything. So I think we're gonna float a little bit more. It's almost 11 o'clock. We're gonna go investigate maybe getting some kind of a drink, yeah. some water, some something, maybe a bar, who knows? You never know what we'll get up maybe to. So. Uh, and then lunch will be open shortly. And then I guess we swim some more. That's kind of what you do. Stingray. Yeah, you, the stingrays, maybe they come out in the afternoon. I think they're afternoon stingrays. It, it sounds right. It sounds legit to me. 